Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Radil Mahbub and today we're going to talk about the space race. It was, it was a competition, basically a competition between the Soviet Union and the US, US during the Cold War in which one tried to go, like achieve more milestones than the other. Uh, it, it, it started uh, right after the, the Second World War. This man, this man's name is Werner von Braun. He was the, he was the man who, who created the first liquid-fueled rocket which actually reached beyond Earth's atmosphere. This was the V2 rocket. And this wasn't used for scientific purposes, no, no. It, it was developed in Nazi Germany uh, and it was used to bombard, bombard England, England uh, with, with its warhead, the red warhead. Uh, Von Braun was later captured by the Americans who let him go and he worked for and he was the first and he was the founder of NASA co-founder of NASA NASA and a leading figure in space technology his rival is Sergei Kor Korolev of the Soviet Union or the USSR he, de he developed the first multi-rocket engines engines and his rockets rockets were named the R7 Seven. Uh, the interesting thing about this is that even today the R7 is still in use, carrying, carrying, uh, uh, carrying, carrying a uh, crew to the International Space Station and back. He was he was sent to the Gulag uh, concentration camp on charges of charges of espionage, which were false, by the way. He uh, he stayed there for six years, and when he came back, he returned his work of. Of rockets, and he late, and uh, a few years later, he died of a heart attack. This was the fr the Russians' first first uh, breakthrough in space, Sputnik. This was Sputnik one, two, and three. Sputnik one was very basic. It just had a radio transmitter, which would uh, give two beeps uh, every one second. Sputnik two was a bit slightly more complicated. It had a camera and a little living chamber for a dog named Laika. We'll discuss her a bit later. And this is Sputnik 3, the third, the third satellite delivered in space. It was kind of late uh, after Explorer once, so it was four, sorry, four. This is, this is actual footage of four of, of Sputnik 1 being lifted into orbit by, by a R7 in Baikonur, Baikonur, Koso, uh, Baikonur, Kazakhstan. In Baikonur, Kazakhstan. Uh, by the way, that launch site is still in use today. The Americans were not to be outdone, so they created the Explorer program. Here is Werner Werner von Braun holding up a, a copied a makeshift Explorer One, along with uh, along with Professor Van Allen and George George. Uh, and Professor George, I'm sorry, I don't remember his last name, however. Very hard to pronounce. Uh, this was a bit better than the uh, Sputniks because it had more scientific uh, collection dat collection instruments than the Sputniks. So uh, I guess it might have been a win for the Americans. Uh, and also a belt of radiation was also discovered, which was called the Van Allen Belt. It took off on 31st January 1958. This is Luna 2, which lifted off on 14th September 1959 on, on you guessed it, an R7. It was the first, it was the first spacecraft to ever, the first uh, man-made spacecraft to ever go to another planet. It crashed there, so no data is actually found. The Americans tried to catch up um, with their their Mercury program, but the the Russians were too quick. Uh, later, they may in a, in a, in on on 12th of April 1961, one and a you guessed it R, an R7, then carried a Vostok stock capsule over here. And by the way, you can already see the the globular globular tradition still still uh, used on the Soyuz. Uh, in that capsule lay Yuri Gagarin. He was the first man in space. He, um, he would also go on to pilot 
uh, two or three others before he was tragically tragically killed in a jet in a jet accident uh, later later on the americans after the crushing humiliation of of uh, sputnik and Lu and of uh, Lu sputnik luna and vostok they created the mercury program uh, th this is this is alan shepard the first american the first american um, to to go into space this is his capsule the mercury capsule uh, named after the messenger the messenger of the gods mercury he was carried atop a modified nuclear missile a modified nuclear missile without the bomb of course uh, called the redstone rocket it was actually inspired by the v2 the russians soon caught up and on and on 18th march 1965 uh, Sergei Kamarov, Sergei Kamarov of the Air Force, became the first man to ever go go out into outer space to do a spacewalk. Here is him like going out of the capsule. You can see his oxygen pipe. Those days they did not have tanks, so they used gold-plated oxygen pipes. The mission was almost actually failed uh, when over in when his suit puffed up way too much. He later manually manually released the pressure and managed to get back in. So finally, when with the Americans almost losing the space race, John F. Kennedy proposed a new idea to take to take humankind directly to the moon. Uh, so came the Apollo program. After after a, a lot of attempts at to landing Apollo 11, finally, finally uh, st went down. Uh, finally went down in history as the as the first time humans would go to another world here is the Saturn V the most powerful rocket get ever created created lifting off lifting off lifting off from launch site 39a this is a uh, buzz Al Edwin Buzz Aldrin on the moon and here is a group shot of all three this is Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. This effectively won the U.S. the space race. And now it is memorialized in history by um, Armstrong's famous sentence. Once it is one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It's been around 50 years since, uh, uh, sorry, uh, it's, it's um, it, it, despite all those successes, there were still there were a lot of uh, other passengers that would go. These these are these are all the animals that that had sacrificed their lives for the sake of sake of uh, the crew programs. This is Ham, the first primate to ever go into space. Bel this is Belkan Strelka, and remember Laika. This is her right before she w she went in to the capsule. This is the first uh, insect on, on, uh, on into space, and these were the first monkeys in space. Uh, squirrel, squirrel monkeys. They, their names were Albert. All of them. Now it's been how long? Sixty to fifty years since the space race concluded, and and uh, and uh, a lot has actually changed. Technology has has went, grown better and now three me, three men Jim Bridenstine Jim Bridenstine of of NASA Elon Musk of Elon Musk of SpaceX and and Jeff Bezos Bezos of new of uh, Blue Origin along with their SLS SLS still in development uh, Falcon 9 uh, that's the Bongo Moon satellite over there and New Shepard New Shepard are leading, are leading the world in the modern space, space race. Virgin Galactic, Blue Origin, SpaceX, and ULA, along, along with NASA as their, as their supporter in chief. Chief, these, these four, four private, privately funded companies are destined to make, make history. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my, I hope you enjoyed my video today. Allah Fez and take care.